In a major reorganization of the royal family, Queen Camilla alters traditional palace roles. She has ended a royal family tradition that was said to be very important to the late queen. She undertook this transformation while juggling her new position and King Charles's cancer treatment. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. We use your sign up to better understand you and provide content in ways you've agreed to. Based on our knowledge of you, this might include advertisements from us and third parties. More information. As part of her efforts to modernize the monarchy, the queen consort decided not to continue the centuries-old custom of having ladies in waiting. The 75-year-old believed that, moving with the times, meant having fewer royal staff members, similar to her husband's desire to streamline and modernize the monarchy. The Mirror reports that in the past, a lady-in-waiting was chosen to assist a senior female royal as a personal assistant. The ladies-in-waiting that Queen Elizabeth II personally selected were always available to assist her with day-to-day -day responsibilities. The women assisted with picking out her clothes, bathing and dressing her, and organizing her schedule to accommodate private family events. After giving birth, Princess Charlotte was forced to hand back a luxury gift worth £36,000. Camilla used to have a secretary named Angela McManus who did many of the same things as a lady-in-waiting even though she was never officially named one. A source told the Daily Mail that the Queen Consort will act in a slightly different way because she currently has two private secretaries who already perform some of those traditional responsibilities. Additionally, she has a large number of trustworthy friends who she can rely on for assistance whenever it is required. She will probably reach out to her close friends who live nearby. The fact that King Charles was successfully coerced into altering the routine of his daily diet demonstrates that even the head of state cannot escape the pressure of his wife. Your Majesty prefers to skip lunch because of his busy and demanding work schedule, which leaves no time for game pie, salmon, or lamb roast. This is not a secret. In point of fact, his reluctance to eat lunch has become so well known that it was included in a list of 70 facts about King Charles that was published by Clarence House. But Queen Camilla is taking this bad habit very seriously now that the monarch has been told he has cancer. According to a report in Mail Online, Her Majesty, along with doctors and aides, has been urging King Charles to eat a proper lunch in order to strengthen his spirit. However, he can't seem to let go of the idea that a sandwich, fruit salad, or quiche isn't necessary for royal duties. Your Majesty has, however, begun eating half an avocado at lunchtime rather than a full sized meal reluctantly, in response to Queen Camilla's pressure. Even though there aren't many scientific studies that show certain foods can help treat cancer better or slow the disease down, patients need to eat to get stronger. King Charles has only slightly altered his daily practice of skipping lunch for the time being. However, now that Queen Camilla is in charge of him, it is anticipated that he will begin eating properly soon.